Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you about the homogeneous function. But before giving you a definition, I would like to take one example. Here I have taken a function of two variables x and y and the function taken is x cube plus y square x. Now here you are observing that the first term is having a degree 3, second term is also having a degree 3 if you add. Now let's see that what we can do with this function. If I replace this function, for example, if I replace every x by lambda x and every y by lambda y, what I am getting? I can get lambda cube, x cube, here y square means lambda square, y square, here x, lambda x. Now, if I take lambdas common, I got lambda cube common and inside the bracket I am having x cube plus y square x, right? So what you are observing here that lambda cube is there and this expression in the bracket is same exactly my function. So I can write down as a f of x y. So you have seen that by replacing every x by lambda x every y by lambda y I get lambda cube f of x y. This is a one, one case. Now let's see the another way. If I take the another function, not the same function but the activity is different. If I want to take x common, so there the degree is 3. So let me take it out x cube common. When I take it out x cube common, I get 1 here. I get because x cube I am taking common already x 1 x is there so y square upon x cube will compensate so x square x square will compensate now what I am observing right now that here x cube is common and inside the function is changed and I got the new function and I'm I can call it function of y by x why because here the variable is having y by x square and constant means I can see it as a y by x to the power 0. So that is a second way. Let's see what else can be done with the function. If I, instead of taking out x, if I want to take it out y common, again I see that degree is 3. So I am going to take out y cube common. So when I take it out y cube common, in the first term here, y cube is not having any x sorry x cube is not having any y so I have to divide by y cube so that when I multiply I get back my function plus now when you take it out y cube common y square is already there so 1y is there so just see if you multiply you get x cube if you multiply you get a x y square so the same function it means I am not disturbing the function I am only changing the format so if this format is giving me x cube g of y by x. The second format is giving me that this can be written as y cube and I got the new function, function of x by y. So just observe in these three different procedures, if you replace it by lambda x lambda y, I get lambda cube f of x y means the cube is the degree here. Because you see that if, if there are two terms, and two terms degree is 3 so I got 3 and the next procedure I saw that when I take x common maximum power I got y by x if I take it out y power common y to the power 3 so I got x by y I think I here I am in a position to share with you the definition that what is the homogeneous function so see the definition a function f of x y is I am taking the second variable two variable a function f of x y is said to be homogeneous of degree n in x and y if it can be written in any one of the following form any one i gave you the three form already through my example but the first form is if you want to cross check whether the given function is homogeneous or not just replace x by lambda x and y by lambda y if you get back your function with some powers of lambda it means it is a homogeneous function and the power will tell you about the degree of that homogeneous function. The other way is you can take it out x to the power n common and you get the function as a function of y by x with you. And if the other option is you can take y to the power n common and the function will be x by y. 
So this is the two variable uh, procedure and it can be extended to any number of variable. I am writing the three variable here in the last uh, three rows. We can write f of x, y as a homogeneous function of degree n if f, f of lambda x, f of lambda y, f of lambda z is lambda to the power n, f of x, y, z. In the same technique, but here the variables are more. Or if you want to take the second option, kind of, wherein if you want to take x to the power common, so here x to the power n common, and you get the new function is because there are three variables. So what happens when you take x common, all y will be turned up as a y by x and all z will be turned up as a z by x. So if you get every term as a y by x and every term as a x, z by y, sorry, z by x, it means that we are dealing with the homogeneous function. Let's check with the help of some examples that whether the function is homogeneous or not. So let's take some example. In example number one, what we are observing that in example number one, I have a x square plus y square plus x into y. So I prefer the first form because it is the simplest one. So let's discuss by that form that whether it is homogeneous or not. So what I'm going to do is lambda x, lambda y. Here it is lambda square, x square, lambda square, y square, lambda x, lambda y. And what we are getting? Lambda square common. And I am having x square, y square plus x into y. So yes, it is homogeneous. And what is the degree? This is 2. So homogeneous degree is 2. Right. So this way we can find out. Now see this second question. Here if I want to find out whether it is homogeneous or not, I will do the same activity. Let's do that if I replace lambda x, x by lambda x, y by lambda y, what happened? I get lambda x, I get lambda y, and here the first and the previous example were polynomial. Let's see what happened in the rational expression. So here, if I take lambda common, I get x plus y. Now here, if you want to write it into the format, if I put lambda in the numerator, that become minus 1 and I get my x plus y. So you see, here the function is back, the same function, see, and lambda to the power. So it is homogeneous function, yes, homogeneous function, degree, minus 1, right, degree is minus 1. Now this is also one of the homogeneous function. Let's see how we can solve this particular case with the help of, let's find out here. Here I am replacing x by lambda x and y by lambda y. So what happened? This is lambda cube x cube minus lambda cube y cube divided by lambda square x square plus lambda square y square. Now in the numerator I got lambda cube common. In the denominator, I get lambda square common and after simplification, you see this question, after simplification what happened? After simplification, I got one lambda and the rest of the term is same function. If you are getting your function back, it means we are dealing with the homogeneous function. So it is also homogeneous function degree. What is degree here? One. So it is degree 1. Now see this third example. Here in third example, what we can do? Here, in this case, if I put f of lambda x, lambda y, this is equals to tan inverse lambda y, lambda x. After simplification, you are getting Lambda, lambda will get cancelled. You are getting y by x. Main is you have to see that whether the function is back. So here, what is the degree? Since I can't see any lambda here, so can I write like that? Zero. So is it the same format? I am using the same formula. So yes, it is homogeneous function. Degree. Zero. Right. So let's see some more example here. 
I want to pick the example where it is not homogeneous. So this fifth example is giving me the clue of that which I want to share with you. Here if I put x is equals to lambda x, y is equals to lambda y, what we are getting? It is lambda cube x cube plus lambda x plus into lambda y and after simplification this is lambda cube see just how many lambda there are lambda square and lambda cube you can take lambda square common and here are getting lambda x cube here are getting x into y oh i am stuck here i am not getting my function back so since see this there is still one lambda inside means you are not getting function back so it is not homogeneous it is not homogeneous now uh, you will check yourself by this procedure i would like to share with you on the observation that how you can judge whether it is homogeneous or not if you don't need to solve it and you can see the function and you can judge whether it is homogeneous or not let's do this activity with these examples here if you see the numerator here there are two terms and the first term is x square, second term is also y, uh, is y square means degree 2 to each inside the root. So every term is having degree 2 and further they are having root. So 2 halves, half 2 is 1. So the top degree is 1. And what about the numerator, denominator? Here there are two terms and both are having degree 1. So it is also having degree 1. So when you put lambda and all that, so up numerator and denominator power will get subtracted so I get yes it is homogeneous and degree 0 1 minus 1 now here see the second question seventh question here degree is 1 why because 1 1 this is 1 this is 1 so both are having same degree numerator denominator x to the power half y to the power half both are having half degree so what is half 1 minus this is plus half sorry 1 minus half is half. So yes, it is homogeneous. Degree means n is equals to, I write here n, n is equals to half. Now, here I would like to uh, explain you that since you are a sine inverse function y by x and x square, so if you put f of, let me do this question, if you put lambda of, uh, if X, lambda x and lambda y let's see what happened it is lambda square x square it is sine inverse lambda y lambda x so this lambda will get cancelled i got lambda square common and then you are having x square then you are having sine inverse y by x it means the function is back this is f function is back it means the, it is a homogeneous function so I got a homogeneous function here right so yes it is homogeneous function homogeneous function degree n is equals to this degree 2 right so uh, this way we can find out now uh, let me see some more examples here here you see I have taken the three variable here the degree is 1 here the degree is 1, here the degree is 1. So total degree of this term is 3. Now if you see denominator, because it, the same rule you can apply for, you can put lambda x, lambda x, lambda y and lambda z. And uh, here the denominator is, there are 3 terms. Here it was 1 term, so degree is 3. Here there are 3 terms. So 4, 4, 4. All are 4, so I can say the degree is 4. Now the final degree is 3 minus 4 and 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So yes, it is homogeneous function degree minus 1, right? Now let's see the uh, question number 10. Here the degree is 4. Here the degree is 3, not matching because the numerator term is not matching and denominator might be 2. If any one of them is not matching, it means not homogeneous you can check yourself if you put lambda here a lambda 4 here lambda cube so there is mismatch of lambda so definitely 
you are not going to return back your function by any of them.